So this trailer and I go back a pretty good ways. I built this trailer just out of high school. It's had some redesigns and rebuilding through the years. And about 20 years later, my friends and I got together and we decided to make it a tilt trailer, which you can see it has some pins over here and uh, some pins here. You pop them and the jack lifts it up and lets you tilt, which has been really handy. But one thing I've never really liked about this trailer is the jacking system. Now it's got a standard, I guess it's just a heavy duty everyday jack. And out of high school, the jack was given to me. So I welded it to the top of the tongue and the jack's been pretty good, but I always find myself putting blocks and bricks and things underneath it mainly because the truck that I have now is pretty high and secondly to crank this thing all the way up and all the way down is kind of a royal pain you wouldn't think it would be but if you have a lot of weight on it it really is and uh, let's just face it these types of jacks are really not that great so what we're going to do is install something called a flip jack now this is the box that it came in and I want to point out a few things in case you're wanting to order one of these for your trailer this says it fits a two and a quarter inch jack the two and a quarter inch is the measurement of the top tube of the jack. It's not the measurement of the shaft that comes out the bottom. This two and a quarter accommodates for a two inch shaft that comes out the bottom. Pay close attention to the measurements before you order this so you don't order the wrong one. And another option they have is you can also do a six inch lift. In hindsight, I wish I'd have bought that and seen the measurements of this trailer and how high my truck sits. I think I would have benefited for the extra two inches. But I only bought the four inch, so we're gonna go ahead and use it and I believe it'll be just fine. Uh, other than that, you can see on the pictures, it's, it's a pretty simple deal. They're saying you don't need any more of these you know blocks and as you retract it it should just automatically lift itself back up and save you a little bit of cranking time so let's go ahead and get this installed we'll see how it works as usual i will put some links down in the description of of anything i've used in this video and i'll put a link to this this jack foot i actually bought it on amazon i don't think it was very much it was like 35 bucks give or take a few dollars but regardless i'll put a link down here in the description so you can take a look at it yourself Installing the flip jack looks pretty simple actually. Basically they have you stick the bottom of the jack into the cavity here on the flip jack and that gives you some pilot holes which is what these holes are for. So you're basically going to drill two pilot holes, one on this side and one on the other side. Then we're going to remove the flip jack and we're going to drill a half inch all the way through the shaft here on the bottom of your jack. Now that the holes are drilled, all we need to do is to put this very large washer on the bottom of the jack, take the flip jack, put it up like that, Slip the bolt through your newly drilled hole, like so, and then they give you a lock washer or a lock nut and another washer for the back side. Once we tighten those down, that's pretty much it. Now that it's installed, we're on to the boring part and that is checking it out to make sure it works. And as you can see, it's going to flip up on its own as I tighten it up. And then once you snug the jack up, it's tight. It's not going to move at all. It's not even going to flop around. It's pretty secure, actually. And then the reverse, when we take the jack back down, it'll just unflip itself. And then you can watch, it'll, it'll self-center itself and lock itself into place. Here it goes. And now it's locked into place and it's gonna start lifting the trailer. And now we're already lifting the trailer. Installation was pretty painless, as you can see. The company apparently is called Fastway, and I believe this is called a flip jack. I will put more information down below uh, on this particular jack extension. So the main things you're gonna gain is you will not have to crank as much to lower the jack all the way to the bottom, and you also gain a little bit of height. So this one is a four inch, and you can also get a six inch. Um, I only bought the four inch because I was a little bit concerned. My trailer sits pretty low to the ground uh, as it is because it's a car trailer. When I built it, I wanted it as low as I could get it. Um, and I was concerned that a regular vehicle with not a high hitch that might not have enough clearance from the bottom of the tongue to the top of the jack. So I bought the four inch just to play it safe. Hindsight is I think I could have got by with the uh, six inch. I don't think it would have been a big deal, uh, but I was just trying to play it safe. If you like these types of videos, please like and subscribe. Take a look at some of my other videos. You might find something that you yourself might want to build, and occasionally I slip in a review or two.